What is good everybody? Today we're using the custom range blaster, CRB for short, and I'm pretty sure you've been seeing a lot of CRBs lately. It's really popular in the middle. I mean, it was before range blaster, but now it has this new kit with Kraken and Splat Bomb, and you know, that kind of fits with a lot of different game modes besides Splat Zones, because you know, Kraken doesn't paint. You know, a lot of people are going to pick it up for other game modes. Like, hey, now I'm going to use this for TC. Or, hey, I'm going to use this for Rainmaker. Because uh, they can't do anything to me. Why don't you use my Kraken form? Although, it's going to be very hard to load Kraken. Especially with a Blaster. Since, you know, Blaster's not known for the painting abilities. And also loading special. And also, we're going to spend most of the time fighting. I mean, that's our whole entire objective. Fighting. And we are going to die. Because weapon's kind of slow. And also have kind of bad ink efficiency. So, we're going to tend to die. And don't worry. That's why we have to come back. And the other stuff like character spawn and stealth jump. So we're not going to be able to load that much special. Like three, maybe four. Let me get lucky. <laughs> Probably even less that because we're going to end up dying. Compared like to other like cracking kids. I mean, they're going to load special quicker. I mean, let's let's take custom um, e-litter for example. Because I mained that one. And they increase the points for special. And a lot of people are like, hmm, wonder why. And to me, the reason why is because I it loads it pretty quick. That's for sure. But also, I don't even have to use Kraken. Because my weapon has a lot of decent range. I can just snipe people and poke people. I can save my Kraken compared to other, like, Kraken kids, and I can save that for objective play. Like, if Rainmaker starts coming cl close to the checkpoint, pop my Kraken, he has to force to run away. I can stall. It was uh, a bit cheese and very annoying, and I understand, wh you know, why they nerfed that, because that was annoying. Now, as for the other Kraken kids, most of them are frontline, like that roller one, or like 96 scout, where like a midline, but also somewhat push up. You're in constant danger compared to my e litter. I'm on the back line. I'm not in danger unless they use Trizook, and then they can shoot me down. So, most of the time, you're actually forced to use Kraken to survive. Because <laughs> you don't want to die, of course. And then, you can also use it to fight as well. But, it's not really a get-in tool. Because there is the whole entire, like, when Kraken is gone, you actually can't do nothing. You're kind of vulnerable right there. So, just be careful. So, that's why you got to pull back. But, yeah, um, the same thing is going to apply for CRB. You're going to use it to survive or just to fight a little bit longer. I'm talking way too much about Kraken. Uh, I guess that's all the things I learned from using e litter. Okay, about the weapon. It needs spacing. And that's the one thing I find it hard to do. Unless you're a god and can hit your directs all the time when you push up, which I can't do. I go for indirects like most other range blaster players, which, um, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's a two shot at that point, but yeah. So spacing, or better yet, you know, positioning, repositioning a lot of times. Because every blaster has a sweet spot, like a good range you want to hit people from. And if people were to rush you down and get close to your face, well, that's really bad depending on your blaster. Especially range blaster, because um, I can't really, you know, my blaster is way over there in my shot. My AOE is right over there. Not up to my face. I'm not a Luna blaster. And, you know, that's one reason why spacing is very important. Because if people were to rush you down, that means you got to back off so they can, you know, enter your sweet spot. And if the enemy were to, like, back away, that means you got to push up. And yeah, that's the general gist of spacing. I remember learning that with Splash Schematic when I used to one trick that weapon when I deal with Blaster 1v1s or any matchups. Like, wait a sec, and every time I go forward to this guy, this guy just backs up. Hmm. And then I equip more swim speed and you just negate the whole entire process because I just run up to their face and there's no problem. So yeah, uh, spacing is a little, you know, a little, you need a little practice of that. Maybe Range Blaster is not the you know, best weapon to try that out. Try the shorter Range Blasters first and then you go back to Range Blaster and you become a beast of that after you learn the spacing. Or, you know, as I said, you just become a god and you just direct everyone you see. Anyways, what's left for me to talk about? Oh, yeah, I know. The jump RNG. <laughs> the 50 50. Will it land? Like straight? Would it not? Just hit the wall. <laughs> 50 50. It's a slogan. Put down the shirt or on a cup. Anyways, yeah, jump RNG. You do want to equip some intensify action right there so you don't have to deal with that. Or better yet, when you have tactical, because you will have no problems, bro. Because everything will be, you know, straightforward. No RNG right there. Or, the last thing you can do is opening Gambit, which, you know, you need to get a couple kills for that. And to me, I mean, it works for solo queue, but, like, I'd rather play it safe and get some quick, you know, quick respawn going on here and come back. Anywho, I think that's everything I want to say about CRB. See you at the outro.
Okay, that does it for today's videos. You know, CRB is a really good weapon, and you were to dedicate a lot of time on this weapon, you get a lot of value from it, especially now, since it's very popular in the meta. Anyways, thank you for watching the video this long. I appreciate it. You can check out my other videos down the channel, or you know, the one recommended right here very soon. And yeah, that's everything. This is goodbye. Bye.